Hello folks. In a recent video I had uh, shown how to use Apps Script to copy data from sheet 1 to sheet 2 um, and you could do this uh, in, in that video you could look at it you you could do it and just make a copy of, of data that might be changing on sheet 1 and you would uh, use the script just to copy a backup of that data or you could modify the script so that you could build an archive of this data as it was um, changing and and write the script so that you could put data um, add data to it rather than just overwriting the data but what I want to do today is show how you could take this same idea and make a backup copy of a sheet um, of this sheet for instance sheet one and and then have that data backed up to sheet two but also uh, back up the contents of the data and then back up the uh, actual data itself with the formatting included. So let's take a look. I'm going to add a sec second sheet here. And, and one way to start this, uh, to give you an idea of what the app script code might look like, is just simply to use the macro function. So I'm going to record a macro. And the macro is going to be to select all of this data and copy it and then come over to sheet two and right click and paste the values only and that brings those values across and then right click paste uh, format only and now I have this let me go ahead and save my um, my macro this is uh, copy uh, paste values format that's the name of my macro and I might just give it a number so I could uh, use it more easily so it's command option shift 9 um, on a Mac go ahead and save that so it's saving my macro and I'm gonna click the edit script button so I can see what this looks like and you can see it wrote a pretty simple script um, it's gonna take the values from A1 to R7, or it's going to get the range, and then it's going to go to sheet two and make it active, and then it's going to paste the values, and then it's going to paste the format. So let's see what happens if I am on sheet two, and I think what I might do with this is, is widen this out across like that, maybe hit my little button here and do a, a double click, and what I might actually then do also is decide to get rid of these extra rows and uh, delete those columns, I mean, and then maybe even get rid of uh, a few of these extra rows <clears throat> and go ahead and delete those. So now here's my sheet, and I think what I'll do now is just go ahead and hit the delete key, get rid of that data. And then, I don't know if you know this little trick, but if I do a command backslash, I get rid of all the formatting. So here I am on this sheet two, Here's my sheet one data. Here's my sheet two. I'm going to come here to extensions, macros, and copy paste values format or command option shift nine. So if I am, uh, it, I don't think it matters, but it might matter where I'm clicked. Let's try. I'm going to click on I, command option shift nine. And what it's going to do, well, first thing, I have to authorize my script. Go ahead and do that. And allow. And I'll do that again, command, command option shift nine. I have a shortcut for that. Wow, look at that. So now just with a simple uh, uh, macro, I can take my data from this sheet. And in the example from which I was showing this, the, um, the data on sheet one was always changing. And so um, what I might want to do is modify this script that we wrote with a macro so that rather than this data being set up to just overwrite the same data all the time, that we would have it over uh, uh, add multiple rows as I added different units in this example that we have. So as you can see, what, I, what I'd like to be able to do is modify this script a little bit. So I'm going to change a couple things here. Um, I'm going to change this var to a, a const, and I'm going to 
change it to, um, I think I'll just change this. Well, I'll, I'll leave it called spreadsheet. But spreadsheet is actually going to be, um, yeah, spreadsheet is actually going to change to get active spreadsheet. And we're going to use that. And then we're going to use the next, uh, we'll create another const here. We're going to do a, a const and we're going to do some source. We want to define a source sheet. So source is going to be equal to spreadsheet um, dot get sheet by name. And we should see that get sheet by name. The sheet we were on to get the source is going to be uh, sheet one. And then we want this, we actually want this source to be the range. So we're going to get the range and the range is going to be a one to R seven. So we'll go ahead and put a quote in there. A one colon R seven in this example. And then we want to activate that range. We need that in order to um, make the copy paste work. So we'll activate and then we'll finish out that with our semicolon. We also want to get a destination sheet. So we'll have another const and it's going to be our dest sheet. Uh, we'll call it dest sheet. And um, that's going to be equal to sp uh, spreadsheet dot get sheet by name and this time it's going to be sheet two okay so now we've well, now we've defined um, our destination sheet and our source sheet and then finally our const we need to build is going to be um, destination we'll call it this is going to be the range really and that's going to be equal to my dest sheet, um, dest is going to be equal to dest. See, that should be showing up. Let me check that quickly. Should be equal to dest sheet that pops up dot get range. So we're defining that, that sheet. We're going to get the range and the range is going to be dest sheet. Uh, let's see, we should be seeing dest sheet pop up there, get ranged, dest, uh, so we have a capital there, dest sheet dot get last row. Get last row. And then what? Uh, so what the range is we want to get the last row and then we want to add two and then we want to get column one we want to start with column one we want to get seven rows and we want to get 14 columns and we want to get that and then we want to activate that and put in our semicolon and then what we want to do is we should be able to um, we should be able to get rid of this. Let's uh, comment it out first. We should be able to get rid of that, and then we're going to spreadsheet. Um, and I, I think we're going to be able to. Uh, we've already done that piece, so we, these are two pieces we changed. Then what we're going to do is go the spreadsheet get range copy to, but instead of spreadsheet get active range we're going to copy to destination uh, so we're going to copy to destination and let's see we'll copy to the destination we should be able to leave that the same and the down here it's the same thing we're going to copy to the destination so we've we've had to define these things that should take care of it let's go ahead and save that well, we don't see any errors popping up. Let's go ahead and run this, see what we get. So now that we, we uh, let me let me go ahead and add, add 100 rows to the bottom of this thing. 
So now that we have this, let's see what happens when we go to extensions, macros, and we can run it this way. And what we should get up, oh, there we go. So now we've taken this macro that was written and we can get rid of these two lines that the macro had put in there because we changed some things. What we did was, you know, put in some constants so we could get a hold of this destination range automatically and define rather than just starting in row one, we needed to be able to start in the next empty row and paste the data in. So when we go ahead and do a command option shift nine, it copies the data and then it pastes the values only and then it pastes the format. And as the data on sheet one changes, I am now building up an archive of all of this data.